Now, before we get started, I want to share a huge, amazing thing. You know, we are running, which is community classroom blogging challenges. I'll keep it short. Just write a blog and share it as it's mentioned over here. You can add the hashtag blogs with CC on your hash note blog. And that's it. We'll help you uh, in promoting that blog, share it on our socials, and we'll also give away some prizes and swag as well. So for this month, we're giving away Casio GSOC. And there's also a special topic. If you can write a blog where you will share your university experience. This is not a tech blog. This is nothing as such, but you can make it according to yourself. We would be giving away a Keychron keyboard. It's a mechanical keyboard, very popular around the world. It's really good. Um, so we'll be giving this away for free. Okay, it's a very nice mechanical keyboard. So all you have to do is go to Hashnode, write a blog on sharing your university experience. What was your university experience like or your high school experience if you're in high school. If you have not graduated yet, then for now, whatever experience you have had, what you learned, just make it personalized. You know? We want to hear your story, make it have, you know, make it fun also. And you can hear other stories. So when you uh, from uh, like when you upload it on Hashnode on your own account, okay, you can add the hashtag blogs with CC so that we can find it, right? And then we can reach out to you. And that's it. Um, you can share it on socials as well. You can tag Hashnode and Community Classroom. We will help promote it. We'll send you some swag. We will give you some nice prizes. If you want to win a G-Shock, these are the tracks you can take part in. So write a blog in any of these tracks. You can take part in. You can write as many blogs as you want. So yeah. So you may be asking Gunal, what is this URL? It's comclassroom.org slash Ash node and you can find you can also find this link in the description below hey one welcome back to another video this is the fourth video in the college roadmap series that i'm doing because people are requesting it so much so i've covered what you can do in your first year second year third year you know uh, shared my experiences what things i've learned and what is the theme of every year and what is like the roadmap you should follow and in addition to that what makes this different is that uh, i've also shared not just like a, a particular roadmap because college is a place to explore and as i mentioned again and again that there are so many developers in the world and everyone has a different story so you have to find your own story right and that is what i'm focusing this particular series on so this video is for people who are in fourth year i'll divide it into two parts as every other video prerequisites are watch the first year second year and third year roadmap video check out the links in the description and some great videos are there in the my experiences playlist also so the first part of this video would be what to do if you have followed all the things in the first year second year and third year you're like you have utilized the first year and second year and third year what i've mentioned and the second part of this video would be if you have done nothing in your life like first year, second year and third year, you did not study anything, your resume is empty, your skills are empty. What do you do in order to get a job? That is something that I'll share as well. So make sure you like, share and subscribe. Check out the links in the description below. Let's get started. So um, point with the, the first part of this video is what to do if you have followed and utilized your previous years of college life and according to the three videos that I made. So um, fourth year is the theme of fourth year is chill. Okay. This will be like a little bit shocking to people. Kunal, fourth year is the year for placements. Fourth year is the year for, you know, you get worried about your future, like where you're going to get jobs and all these other things. That's true, but it depends on circumstances. If you have utilized your initial years of college life, fourth year is the time where you are chilling. I, by chilling, I mean that you are not stressed about your career as such. Oh, will I get a job? Oh, will I get this or that? What will happen to me? that all things don't happen. Fourth year is nice. You have stepped into the world, you're working and stuff. So this is what the point I want to mention is that people, like students who have utilized in the first year, second year, third year, they start working full time in fourth year. Okay, remotely, mostly. And that is the path I'd recommend because fourth year gives you a lot of free time. Even colleges say that, hey, you are in your fourth year. Many, many colleges say this in India, go do six month, six month internships. Right. Many, many colleges say that. So fourth year has less number of subjects, relatively, you know, less stress. Not many people attend college because everyone is doing industry work and stuff. So college wise, it's pretty chill. And people who have utilized their initial years, they start working full time and you can start working remotely and get financially independent or whatever in your fourth year that can definitely happen. OK, so that's one thing. If you have followed good things and you have a placement and offer and whatever, you start working full time. You get placements and uh, if you haven't gotten placements, you're looking for new roles, then you still, you know, what you need, you can still, you know, just prepare for placements, keep working on what you are working because I'm still talking about part one. So if you have followed nice things that I mentioned in the th three years of roadmap, then 
you already know what you want to do in life okay so you can prepare for those interviews enhance your skills even more work on your certifications and stuff so pretty chill okay or some people also use it to prepare for masters they do it at the end of third year or whatever they start researching and stuff but yeah try to reach out to someone who has done masters so if you want to do masters also you have to take this thing into consideration not much to share about people who have nicely done all the things in the 30 three years of college life so you are very good okay now enjoy and have fun in your in your you know work life and travel around the world and do good things learn meet nice people have fun all right now main point people who have done nothing um by nothing i mean factual thing okay i'm not demeaning you i mean that because this is a question that i get when i did nothing in my college you did not learn anything no internships no projects no experience nothing you did so for them i recommend watching the third year roadmap video because that video is similar to this video then okay there's nothing much you can do you have to work hard so that's it yeah watch, watch the third year roadmap videos second part in that video itself the not followed section like if you have not done anything in your college life the same thing would apply over here as well third year roadmap that part you can watch it's the same okay over there i have covered data algorithms development building a personal profile and credibility networking with people applying to roles if you don't have any internships or experiences and if a resume is blank how you can build your resume projects open source events hackathons blogging startups internships because of no time limit and stuff all these things are covered in third year roadmap video so i repeat again people who are in fourth year who have done nothing watch the third year roadmap video that will help you okay that's it and uh, good luck thanks a lot for watching these are all the you know four years of college life it also applies to bcs B bsc bca students who are in three years of college life that's fine because in remote work and all these you know, great opportunities college degree does not matter okay so don't worry about it you all can also follow this also people who are non-tech backgrounds they all can follow this as well because i have not limited these videos to colleges and universities so you all can follow this as well basically anyone who wants to get a job in tech can follow these videos but again you have to follow your own path but that is something i've hugely you know emphasized on so yeah um that was a roadmap for fourth year you have to work really hard um you know if you have not done anything but yeah it's pretty chill have fun um in my fourth year i traveled around the world it was very good because i utilized my first three years of college life so that is what i would recommend but yeah if you if there's any other video you want me to make related to this topic maybe a video on um what to do if you did, did not do anything and you're a pass out because that's a question i get a lot so if you want that video let me know in the comment section below like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one have a good day bye